Well, aloha and mahalo, my Ohana YouTube people. Today we're talking about RV Hawaii. And my long-term YouTube followers know that uh, I do spend the second most amount of my time destination in Hawaii. And uh, I went there twice last year. Because there's something magical and spiritual about the place that I really can't put my finger on. And uh, from the moment I first went there many years ago, it just felt like a place where I belong. And I'm sure many people that have been there have that exact same feeling as me. But what got me going on this just recently was I was going through footage from my last trip to Oahu about nine months ago when I went. Uh, and uh, I found some interesting footage of something that is very, very RV stealth and interesting. So I'm driving through the lush tropical forest mountain region uh, near the uh, Pali lookout just off the Pali Highway, which anybody who's been to Oahu or lives there knows exactly where that is. And uh, what do I behold? A stealth vanner with a Class B. I'm like, hmm, that's very interesting because RVers are very, very rare in Hawaii. And now we, we all know or have buddies and I know people that back in the 60s, 70s, even 80s, went to Hawaii, bought a VW van, and did some stealth camping on the North Shore. Guess what, folks? It's harder and harder to do that because of uh, city and county ordinances and crackdowns. Now, Hawaii, as many people who travel there and live there sadly know that on the west coast has a large homeless contingent of people living in their cars and on the beach. They've got enough indigenous, so to speak, uh, homeless people that they really don't want to bring more RVers to do that on a permanent basis. So that being said, I'm going to answer a few questions about RVing in Hawaii for those who have never been there. Now, first of all, number one, there are no RV parks in Hawaii. It's just the way it is. Number two, you actually don't need an RV park because a lot of the state beaches have toilets and showers right on the beach. Number three, uh, many of the city, ordin city and county ordinances in Oahu require that you cannot sleep in your vehicle, so you actually must pitch a tent once you have a permit. It's just one of those idiosyncrasies of the law. Number four, you can't really rent an RV in Hawaii, but what you can do is you can rent a Volkswagen van. Now, various companies on the islands of Kauai, uh, Oahu, uh, Maui, and the big island of Hawaii have offered and continue offering. The companies kind of come and go, some of them fold and change names, but generally on those four main islands, you can often rent a older Volkswagen van or Westphalia with no toilet, no shower, of course, folks. And that's your camping experience in terms of the RV world. Now, lastly, there are two and only two RV sandy dumps that I could find. One, of course, is in Oahu, uh, in, in Honolulu. The second is on the Big Island uh, in Hilo at a waste uh, management dump site. So, <laughs> few and far between. So, for example, if you're going to ship your vehicle over to Maui to do some RVing, if you've got the money to afford to do that, well, use a cartridge toilet and that way you can just dump your sewage into any toilet anywhere you wish. So if you want to try RVing in Hawaii, rent a Westphalia or some old Volkswagen van, drive around one of the few islands, give it a try and see what you like. Now anybody who's an RV boondocker who is watching this, I'd love to hear from you. Now I don't want you to give away your stealth parking places including the one I've actually probably already mentioned on the Poly. Uh, look out. Um, tell me how it's going. I'd love to know. And the rest of us would love to know what it's like to boondock in paradise. So, in the meantime, mahalo for watching. Catch you next week.